Welcome back to our channel. We've got a fantastic guide today for all the beginners out there looking to set up the Aftership Shopify app. So let's begin. Okay, first and foremost, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have an account here in Aftership because this is the perfect time for us to integrate both platforms. Now, if you have your Shopify account ready, all you're going to do is install on it. Or if you wanted to get more information, you can book a demo or get started free. Now, when you click on this one, you can create your free account by continuing with their Google account. Or you can continue with their Shopify account. Or if you're using a big commerce, just click on it and provide the uh, first and last name and the business email address that you wanted and the password. And after cr cr uh, clicking create free account just follow the on-screen instructions as you can see you will be directed to uh, these pages click on that click on next now once your account is successfully created you will be given the interface and the dashboard for you to explore and the first thing we can do is basically here there's an option here in the left side panel for the uh, shipment tracking click on that and from here after ship enables businesses to track shipments and provides real-time updates on the status and location of packages now this information is valuable for both the business and its customers so they can you and the customers can track the uh, shipping order in real time now it also offer a multi-carrier support because after ship supports tracking for a wide range of carriers and carriers globally so it consolidates tracking information from multiple carriers right here allowing businesses to offer a, a unified tracking experience for their customers right well seamlessly without any problem now in terms of returns management after ship includes features for managing returns uh, now businesses can streamline the returns process and keep customers informed about the status of their return items as you can see all you're gonna do is connect your store first and then you can customize your returns page you can set up um, eligibility rules set up warehouses and routing rules and enable customers notifications and of course turn the refund into revenue it's that simple now here's an option for returns shipping as you can see all you're gonna do is add carrier add return location add package size and set up routing rules it's the same for returns tracking all you're gonna do is re enable returns tracking and you'll get an integration with 1000 carriers okay and basically easily track return shipments you can filter returns by shipment status and you can trigger return automations now in terms of some of the uh features for uh after ship when you click on apps right here you can explore apps after ship returns because it integrates well with other um, leading e-commerce not only to shopify but to uh, some extent to woocommerce and a lot more so when you click on view more apps as you can see they integrate well with the leading e-commerce platforms and apps to create and run your online business so it's not only limited to shopify you have salesforce magento 2 cliveo gordias big commerce and a lot more for you to explore all right and again if you want more information you might want to click on book a demo and get started it's free anyway now one of the coolest features of aftership is the uh, buyer's protection because aftership provides protect packages against loss damage and theft now in this feature alone it can increase loyalty and satisfaction improves efficiency at no extra cost and boost sales and reduce losses now basically the way it works is simply um customers can buy protection and customers can file a claim when something goes wrong you know customers can quickly file a claim in the aftership app or on your tracking package get a quick resolution and you get paid in days not weeks and can decide to refund the customers or send them a replacement now say for example here's uh, an estimated calculator for you to uh, choose from say for example you have an average order value of this amount and the number of packages annually 
and your projected ROI can be seen right here. And if you want, again, if you want more information, you might want to consult to one of their consultant. Now, in my case, when I was starting about Aftership, since I'm not familiar with the app, what I did was I talked to one of their consultant. Now, what are you what what you're gonna do is just provide a business email for them to uh contact you not only that aftership offers an api integration allowing businesses to integrate its tracking capabilities into their existing existing systems or applications and all you're gonna do if you haven't started your api's keys yet you might want to click on the create api keys and from here, just follow the on-screen instruction because these details will help you keep track of your API keys and stay informed about changes that affects them, right? So this one of the signature header for this API key. Also, if you're a tech savvy, you might want to create your webhook so that they can notify your application when events of interest occurs. And again, just click on create a new webhook. And as always, if you're... um tweaking the settings make sure the endpoint url you set to receive notifications can be accessed now once you are ready all you're gonna do is click on after shipped there's a lot of after ship feed for tiktok shop returns labels but for now click on after ship order tracking now obviously if you have logged into your shopify store you can just click on install and again it's free plan available and you have a seven day free trial wherein you have you can take advantage of all of these perks but if i were you if you want to scale up you might want to take advantage of the essentials which is 11 dollars per month and you get to have an access to all these perks and advantage and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one